Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Come learn and grow with me. So today I have something extra special for you, and that is something all about love. And it is actually called Love is Permanent. Now many things in this world are permanent, but love is and always will be. Many things in this life change or go away, but love remains. When a loved one passes on and leaves their human form, their love for us still remains and always will. And our love for them always remains. We remember them and the love they showered us with. Love is the only permanent thing here. For love always remains, even after all the loss and challenges we face. Love remains. We come into this world with nothing, and we leave with nothing. But we did get love and feel love from others and ourselves. And we learned so much from it. And as we leave this world, our love remains. As said in 1 Corinthians 13, Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. So love more. Love everything and everyone regardless of what they do to you. Because you are love. We are here to learn to love each other unconditionally. To love everything and everyone and be kind and caring and compassionate beings. Love is permanent. Love is forever. You are love, and you are so loved always. If you don't feel loved, then that's because your belief systems are not aligned with your true being. Your belief systems can hold you back if you have been programmed by this world to believe anything that isn't love, which most of us have been. Most of us have been hurt and wounded in this world, and it is up to us to get back to that love and place we were born into. When we were born, we loved everything unconditionally, no exceptions. Before the programming began, before we picked up others' ways of what love is or how to love, we naturally knew what love was, and still do, regardless of what we were taught. We all know what love is and how love feels. Love feels good and amazing and blissful. So I encourage you all to be more loving every chance you get, to lead your life from here on out in a loving manner, and to love everything and everyone. For everything is a mirror reflection of what's inside you. So the more you love others, the more you actually love yourself. So be a good reflection and a good example. Be love in all ways possible. Dr. Wayne W. Dyer says it so perfectly in his book, The Power of Intention, which I'm now going to share with you a short clip in this book of a few examples of amazing things I want to share with you. Here are some fascinating figures from Dr. Hawkins' research for you to contemplate as you review the impact you can have on humanity simply by being on the higher rungs of the ladder to intention. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of optimism and a willingness to be non-judgmental of others will counterbalance the negativity of 90,000 individuals who calibrate, calibrate at the lower weakening levels. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of pure love and reverence for all of life will counterbalance the negativity of 750,000 individuals who cal cal calibrate at the lower weakening levels. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of illumination, bliss, and infinite peace will counterbalance the negativity of 10 million people who calibrate at the lower weakening levels. Approximately 22 such sages are alive today. One individual who lives and vibrates to the energy of grace pure spirit beyond the body in a world of non-duality or complete oneness will counterbalance the negativity of 70 million people who calibrate at the lower weakening levels. Approximately 10 such sages are alive today. Here are two compelling statistics offered by Dr. Hawkins in his 29 years study on the hidden determinants of human behavior. One single 
one single avatar living at the highest level of consciousness in this period of history to whom the title Lord is appropriate, such as Lord Krishna, Lord Buddha, and Lord Jesus Christ, would counterbalance the collective negativity of all of mankind in today's world. Two, the negativity of the entire human population would self-destruct were it not for the counteracting effects of these higher energy fields. So I encourage you all to be the beacon of love and light this world so much needs, for we all can choose to be love in any moment and shower everyone and everything with love in every moment. Live your life in a loving way, always and forever, and let's rise together. Thank you all so, so much for being here and for watching. Love, light, and blessings to you all always. Peace. See you soon.